what you just saw is the live feed of what is happening in uh, Benin specifically. And I also understand that uh, our correspondents are spread across the state. But we can see a very peaceful atmosphere. It means that uh, the exercise has begun, or this probably was a few minutes to 8 o'clock, where they were coming with the voting material. But anytime soon, we'll be getting what the real-time issues are. So, Kunu, let's look at it. We're talking about 13 hotspots have been identified. I'm sorry, 13 local governments. Out of the 18 local governments, hotspots have been you know, identified. We're talking about uh, five in North Senatorial District. We're talking about um, five in uh, Edo South. And then we have um, three in Edo Central. Talking about the Edo South, we have the Esako West, the Esako East, the Esako Central, Owan West, and Akuko Edo. Now, the North is where the two deputy governors I mean, the deputy governor's uh, candidates, let me call them candidates, <coughs> yeah. for the purpose of this conversation, came from. And, and, uh, exactly. And that's also where Oshomole came from. And it tells you that um, there's so much about the struggle for control. I, I like us to first of all understand how it's divided. So you have um, Edo South, uh, which has uh, about seven. You have Edo Central, about five. You have Edo North, that has about six, in terms of the, the local, local governments. governments. Now, as we speak, um, Edo North has an APC member representing it at the National Assembly, but Edo Central and Edo South has P have PDP representing it at the National as Assembly. As senators now. As senators. It tells you first, that despite the fact that you had you had an APC governor who is not a PDP governor, <laughs> it's important. You need, you need to ask the question that what work did they do at the grassroots level such that of the three senatorial districts you have only the former governor has only one of the three senatorial candidates represented. It tells you something that many people are not referring to. In fact, Political watchers and analysts are not looking at that particular one. And don't be deceived. You are talking about before now, when the governor was an APC member, they took two senatorial seats from him. Now you are talking about... But have you also considered the House of Assembly? Well, that's... Because some people also say that's yeah, a grassroots. No, no, that's a grassroots. I agree, but I just decided to look at that. Very important. Yes, very that important if statistics. you have three senatorial districts, but it too happens to be controlled now by the PDP, it tells you something that is important. And at the same time, don't forget that I was talking about the Akoko Edo area before, that if you're talking about the languages spoken, for instance, if you're talking about Edo South, Edo South is mainly uh, the SM people. If you're talking about the uh, Edo, uh, yes, if you talk about Edo Central, you could have the Benin and all of that in the Yorubas, the Shekiris, the Orobos. Then if you're talking about Edo North, you have the Afemai, Afemai. you have the Sabongidaura, you have the Akuku Ebobobo, the people that from Unemenekwa come to Akuku Edo and all of that. Those are the people. Now, I, I think that one of the things that stands very important in this election is the fact that would there be a consolidation of the senatorial strength in these areas. And if you're talking about the hot spots you've mentioned also, well, hot spots first for a diet or not is the fact that you've mentioned something. You have two deputies, as it were, come from there. You have a former national chairman of the party come from that region because Oshomole is Afemai. So it tells you that it is likely going to be a battlefront to make a statement that although you say you are from here, well, yes, of course, because it's a situation where don't forget that Oshomole is a man who prides himself in first ending the political career and uh, strength of Aneni. And who believes. And supposed end of Godfatherism. Godfather, he said, but Godfatherism <laughs> is very, very evident here. It's very evident. And at the same time, don't forget that there are certain things made, statement made by Obaseki that is instructive here. Obaseki said some things I think it's about. Uh, seven, eight months ago, that in Lagos, the political elites don't go to allow in Ikeja, they go to Bodilon. That the political elites in Edo should not come to Osadebe House, that they should go to Iyamo, where Adam Soshomole has his house. It tells you that certain statements have been made there, 
that as far as political elites are concerned, um, this is not a government that will begin to follow your rule. It's a government that wants to strengthen the grassroots. And for many people who have talked, they said, it's the political elites that helped you to power. It's the political mediation that gave okay. you the strength let, to Let me quickly interject.